Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to Prison Architect. We're in the Alpha 34 and my name is Redneck Einstein. Although remember, I'm not a real redneck. I'm just an English boy living in Sweden. Used to live in America. <laughs> okay, so first of all, in this episode I'm going to show you how to make uh, guard patrols. So, all you got to do is make your patrol route, which is these green things. So you just drag along here, drag along there, and your guard will be automatically um assigned to that patrol route now i've got other patrol routes assigned so let's just go ahead and put a a guard there left click there simple as that and we need one more in order to fulfill our uh security procedure certification so once i've assigned this third guard it will say completed and i'll get money yay there we go third guard that now put in and our grant completion Payment has been received. Thank you very much. All right, onwards and upwards with the game. Now I received some cool, really awesome. Thank you very much. Feedback from Elfwin. He said in order to get um, these chairs used by a psychologist to sort of hold a Alcoholics Anonymous kind of meeting with people, I need to assign it in the programs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and start behavioral therapy first. Hopefully they'll use them chairs for that and. It should be, there it is, Alcoholics Group Therapy. So I've assigned that as well. Now let's start our kitchen safety and hygiene. Now all our programs are running now. So we've got workshop safety induction. Uh, we've got one interested. Five, five have passed, which is good. So that's 55%. Now once people have passed, they'll start working in this workshop and get me some money, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and speed the game up because everyone's asleep right now. You lazy buggers. Now I know the layout of my prison, as usual, is not that great. But uh, hopefully, as we move onwards and upwards, it will improve. So our guards have no access to here at the moment. I want them to uh, install electrical cable, but they don't have any access. So let's go ahead, put a door there for them. We'll make it a staff door. Just any door will do right now, as long as they can get in there, and then we can worry about the rest of it later. Now, in our last episode, I installed a chapel for which serves as a multi-faith prayer room so anyone of any faith can come in and pray in there so that's good all right good they're installing the uh, electricity cable now now i've had to um install a second power station so if i click on utilities you can see what i've done i've installed cable but i've got cable that runs from this uh, second power station and it's not attached to the main electricity grid from the first power station and that's prints uh, mainly because um, if I do that it keeps giving me a power cut so that's one way of overcoming that alright looks like there's been a fight and Hornybrook is injured seriously injured well yeah he looks close to death if you remember in my last episode we actually had a death which is not good not good at all I didn't I wasn't proud of that <laughs> because I actually lose money I'm not bothered if they die but you know I actually lose money so that's not good running a prison <laughs> All right, so five staff members are exhausted. 17 prisoners are up for parole. That's good. We've got two prisoners arriving very soon. Let's watch what these guys are up to. Now, I think this jail door here we can dismantle. We don't really need that there. And also, I am going to demolish these walls, I think, because they don't need to uh, be fenced off from there. That's it. They're having a shower now. God, Burgess is straight with his top off. He's like, look at my man boobs. I got big old man boobs. Who wants to have a little peek of these? Oh, yeah. I'm rubbing my titties. <laughs> Mackenzie. Now, where's, where's my most famous prisoner? Where is he? Darley. Richard Darley is his name. He is an absolute psycho. There he is. Richard Darley. He is in uh, solitary right now. He's not bothered whatsoever about being in solitary. He's just an absolute psycho. I think he's trying to talk to swag. He's on lockdown for 60 minutes. <laughs> he needs a wee. You ain't going for a wee, mate. You are stuck in there for good. Looks like people are puking everywhere. What on earth is going on? So hopefully people are going to start working now. Let's have a look at our workshop and see who comes in and starts doing a job for me. Oh, good. We've got some people doing laundry, which is good. Clean clothes for everyone is always nice. Mackenzie works in there. I don't think that's a smart idea. <laughs> There's blood in the parole room. What the hell? Now remember guys, the side quest is keep an eye out for anyone who might fart. I still have yet to see it. What on earth is going on? Nobody farts in my prison apparently. Now these guys are installing electrical cable, but it's taken a while so the lights are off right now. Okay, no problem. We need to build more cells though and get some uh, 
get some more prisoners in. But if I install more cells, we're going to need a new kitchen. We're going to need new everything. I could just make some basic cells down here, I suppose. Down in the centre here. Hmm. What do we think? Should we go for it? Yeah, let's install some more cells. Get some more prisoners in here. The, the more chaos that happens, the better, right? <laughs> Alright, we're going to make these, I think, quite spacious cells. Why not? No, not that spacious. That's just being ridiculous. Way too, way too uh, generous to my prisoners. These are, you know, criminals after all. We need to remember that. All right, let's go and put a jail door there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So once these are built, we'll have room for six more prisoners to arrive. Actually, we can have seven more. Okay, so let's go to intake. Increase that to seven. And for now, I'm just going to keep the, the low security ones coming in. Now, my plan is... Brace yourselves for this, ladies and gentlemen. My plan is to unlock executions. Oh, yeah. But in order to do that, we need to unlock legal. So let's click on that. And where there it is. Death row requires $10,000. But that's going to be so good. You know what? I might get some dogs in there as well eventually. Extra grant. I don't need any more of that other stuff right now. Let's keep an eye on everyone eating. Look, Darley's causing trouble again. He's injured. He wants drugs. Damn you, Darley! You are the world famous star of my prison. I, I bet he, he's injured. He's stoical. That's his uh, personality. Oh, this guy's been knocked unconscious. He probably just knocked him unconscious across the table. Just for no reason. Darley, you are a brute, sir. And the worrying thing is, he started to do weights as well, so he's just going to kick some butt soon. Oh, God. He's going to become even more of a handful. Oh, well. Free time now. What is everyone up to? Phoning home, eh? This one looks like Mr. T. B.A. Baracus from the A-Team. Oh, yeah. Look at the size of this guy next to him, though. Pennington. Let's see what B.A. Baracus has been up to. He's had multiple crimes, including death by dangerous driving. And, funnily enough, death by dangerous driving. Whoa. Creative by introversion. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Hornybrook's injured. This lady's waiting to go in there and fix him. Look, she's going to, like, inject him up. Put some plasters on him, some band-aid. And he's, he's, he's recovered. Nice. All right, so free time. I wonder what... If anyone knows this, can you let me know? I'm, I know I'm always asking you guys for tips and tricks and stuff. But I don't actually know the answer. When do the people, you know, go for their behavioral therapy and their Alcoholics Anonymous meetings and everything like that? Because I've, I've yet to see that happen. So I know I've only just started it. But I've never seen it either in my girlfriend's playthrough on YouTube videos or um, or indeed in my own playthrough so auto saving alright you auto save away prison architect and now let's just keep an eye on everyone everyone's being locked up so we still got some prisoners arriving let's fast forward oh yes how's our jail cells being built lovely they're ready near enough so we just need to make these cells drag that across there so they need a bed and a toilet and that's it but we, we're going to jazz them up a little bit give them some nice stuff I'm going to put their bed in that corner. Just to be fancy, let's put them on the other side of the cell as well. Ho oh, ho! Aren't I, aren't I amazing? No, not really. <laughs> okay, let's put these ones there. Now, the benefit of putting them in a line like that is, when you go to utilities and put in your pipage, which we have none anywhere near it, so we drag a giant pipe down here, but when you do that, all you have to do is drag your pipe across, put the little ones in there, and... That will be sorted. Lovely. So their cells will be ready. So, yeah, let's fast forward. And while I'm here, let's give them, I think, a radio. Let's put that at the foot of their bed. There you go, guys. You can have a little radio to listen to. Now, these are kind of going to be fancy, fancy cells, I think. You know, give them something to aspire to. So we'll give them a TV as well. Where's the TV gone? There it is. Put a TV in there. God, you guys are going to be living in the lap of luxury. One over there. One over there. And is there anything else nice we can put in there? Um, perhaps perhaps a bookshelf? Actually, you know what? I might build a library. We haven't got a library yet either. I know it's not the most fancy of, of things, but, you know, let's let's get one anyway. I don't know if we need this jail this jail door either. Now, that reminds me of what um, Elfworm is commenting on. You, don't, um, you can leave these doors open, but I guess... In this case, I can just demolish them. Just leave a gap so they can walk through, and that'll be job done. So, let's go ahead and build a library. But how big does the library need to be? 
needs to be at least five by five. All right, didn't know that. So we got, let's zoom in a bit. One, two, three, four, five. And let's drag that across there. I don't want to make it super big. One, two, three, four. No, it's too small. Too small, guys, too small. All right, demolish that wall. Beautiful. So let's just slow down the game a minute because we've got seven prisoners arriving, but we've got room for eight. So let's increase our intake. You know what? Let's get a let's get a maximum security in here. Some maximum security guy in here, just for grins, shits and grins, as they say. Ha ha! Maximum security. I'm kind of looking forward to this. See what happens. All right. Let's go to library. Make that there. So that needs a library shelf and a sorting desk. I've never ever built a library either, so let's see how this works. There it is, library shelf and sorting desk. So we'll put that there. And we'll put one there and a sorting desk there. Lovely. Alright. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Pause, 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 pause. We want a door there instead. Uh, just a regular door, I think. There you go. You're going to put a door there, I hope, still. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, job. Good, good, good. All right, so what else is going on in my prison? Everyone's asleep right now, you lazy blighters. Oh, there's a fight somewhere. Where, where, where? I can hear it. Where's the fight? Who's fighting? I reckon it's up here, but I can't see. Come on, guards. Guards, move. Quickly. Get to the trouble spot. Run, you fool. I want to see what's going on. Oh, yeah, fight. Creaser. Creaser versus the guard. Who's going to win? Mortal Kombat. Go, Creaser. Go on, Creaser. You got this guard. But the guard's got an advantage. He's got a bat on. Oh, Austere and Harris are watching on. Oh, and the guard has just knocked him unconscious. Richard Creaser. Sentenced to 13 years for trafficking. Love it. And what was that funny noise? Has someone escaped or something? Oh, I hope not. We had too many escapes in the last episode. Infirmary, yeah, the guard just got patched up. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, what was causing the flooding, I wonder? Yeah, eight prisoners arriving. Here they come. Actually, I'm going to check on my education reform program as well while we're here. Let's go to programs, education reform program. Wow, we've got three interested, but no one's passing or anything yet. Maybe that takes a while longer. Maybe. What's happening with the electricity in this place? What is happening, guys? Have you not installed the, the cables or what? Look, there's no lighting or, or anything whatsoever. Ah, it's because it's not connected. Let's go here then. Put a little cable in and that'll be connected and lit up for us. Ready to build more stuff. That's quite a big area. So we could actually build uh, probably a canteen, some more cells, etc, etc. Which would be good. Alright, so. What is going on? Feed all prisoners. They're having a shower now. And oh no, power cut. Why power cut? Why? You're not even connected. Switch on, switch on. Deaths! What the hell? Where's the death? In the shower? While the electricity's off, they've taken advantage and killed someone. I bet it's this guy, Darley. You are a psycho, mate. I'm going to have to execute you. If I have the choice to execute people, I will choose him. He needs to die. He's just ridiculous. Let's have a look what's going on here. Why is the utilities failing? So that connects all the way up there. Maybe there's just not enough capacitors. Hmm. Install some more capacitors for you, sir. Now, I did read on one somebody else's YouTube channel that you can put these capacitors on the corner as well. I thought you could just put them on the side, but no, you can put them on the corner of the power station, which is good. All right, power is down. You know what? We're going to have to have lockdown while the power's out. Lock you all down. No one move a blooming muscle. You stand there naked, son. You just need to show your titties to the world. All right, come on, install these things, mate. Lockdown. Oh, no, lockdown means they can't actually go and fix anything. Ah, take it off, lockdown. <laughs> I wanted them to install the capacitors, but they couldn't actually get there. Derp. All right, there you go. Switch on, see if it works now. No, power cut again. Oh, no. Why have we got a power cut again? What about if I connect these two? Would that work? Or well, maybe they're already connected, and that's the problem. Huh. Guys, I might need your help. All right, let's do that then. Come on, quickly. Fix it all. Everyone's just running around in the dark right now. Darley's having a field day murdering people. Come on, install them cables. That's it. Put one there. Let's try and switch it on now. Come on. Damn it. 
You know what? Let's just fill it up with capacitors. Something has to work. Come on, put one there, one there, one there. You guys work your socks off. These guys, look, there's puke everywhere. There's probably poop everywhere. There's people being shanked. What the heck? Switch on. Yeah, it's working. Switch on. Probably got way too many capacitors now, but whatever. At least it works. Now, this one doesn't work at all. Uh, actually, this one's turned off as well, I think. Yeah, it has. Okay, so it's probably the fact that they're connected then. Let's get rid of this. Dismantle utility. Demolish, sir. Come on, remove it. Hopefully, we should have power back on. This is I know this is a bit of a fail, guys. Apologies. We've had power cut again. Oh, my goodness. How can I fix it? I think we're back. We're back on board. Let's switch this one on. No, as soon as I switch that second one on, it all goes off. Does anyone know the reason? In that that being the case, I can... Uh, oh, we've got more prisoners around. We've got no more room for them. Ah, go there, quickly. Everything's happening so quick. I need to slow the game down. This is ridiculous. Uh, let's just dismantle this one for now, then. Uh, go to objects. No, go to utilities. Dismantle all of these. And they'll be usable later, but for now, this power station is not enough to handle it all. I don't know why we're having a problem. I don't think they're connected. Let's just take another look. Maybe they are connected through that. Could be. Could be. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to redesign some of this, so I'm going to connect those together. Then I'm going to remove those, if I can. Yeah, remove those and then put a cable there. And hopefully that water thing will be not connected to any of this stuff. So, at least we have power back on. Everything is good. All right, this jail door here is causing a bit of a bit of a problem. So I'm going to dismantle that and actually dismantle, demolish the wall, sorry. And everything's good. So people are at work now. So I'm, I'm really hoping to see some people go to the workshop. Maybe I need another foreman. Let's have a look. Foreman, we've got one. Max hired already. Hmm. Why are we not witnessing anyone building? This is ridiculous. Laundry workshop. Good, good. You're just wandering around in there, passing the time of day. Well done, lads. <laughs> now, the workshop is actually quite cool. Once it starts to work, you develop... Uh, I think you develop wooden products and license plates and stuff. And that helps you uh, achieve one of these research grants. But it also gives you loads of money, which is good. But right now, I think, is a good time to end the episode. So thanks for staying with me, guys. Please keep your comments coming. It motivates me so much, and I, I appreciate it so much. I'll enjoy conversing with you about it. So, uh, And also share the video with as many people as you can. Let's try and get a bigger audience here and have some more fun. So take care, everyone. Thanks for watching.